Welcome back to Tales of Miseria. Um, last time we explored the village, our demon friend, enemy, whatever. <laughs> the guy we are supposed to kill. Um, capture. Capture. Uh, well, he lives in another village we explored last time, so yeah. Mm. And now we're looking for him. I didn't want to fight these. Alright. On to battle! Three is ours! Um, let's go here first. Ugh. What's that smell? Oil? Looks like it. Leave me alone. You're too slow anyway. So yeah. Um, I think we're almost done with the story heavy parts for the beginning. <laughs> and we'll have more of an exploring kind of thing going on the next few parts. So I definitely need topics to talk about and I don't know what I should talk about. I could tell you about my life but there's nothing interesting going on except for my um, bachelor thesis that I'm supposed to write but kind of am stuck at right now so ugh. Uh, yeah I should start working on that come on really um yeah well I still have to figure stuff out for that I'll end this quickly come on really well, I, I still have stuff to figure out because um, I have to write it in English, not German, and I have to figure out what to do with my questionnaire. Oh, I'll cut down anyone in my way! Yeah, well, I have to still figure out what to do with my questionnaire and stuff. Um, I think we might be able to break this boulder. And people say I'm foolhardy. I'm serious. I think we can do it. Are we not demons? You have a point. Breaking boulders. You can destroy pricked boulders by pressing A. Uh, so yeah, I still have to figure that out. Uh, no. Rose Cousage, alright. Um, can't jump there, so. Yeah. And I have a month to do that, and still got a lot of exams that are coming up, and papers that I have to write. Because my plan didn't go as it as I planned it. Obviously. So it was tar we were smelling. Watch your step. You won't get out if you get stuck. Uh, yeah. That's what I have to figure out, so I might uh, end up going back to only one part a day and switching up between my two series. So I don't know, Monday, Tears of Bazaria, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, uh, Tears of Bazaria, and then um, the other days. Looks unstable, you could probably move it. Yeah, then move it. You know what they say. Falling off a rock only makes us stronger. I don't think that's quite how the saying goes. Hi, Doggo. 
When there's nothing to use as a footing to traverse a gap, then maybe a bold and priority. I'm going to jump. Don't fall and crack your skull. Uh, that's probably the way I have to go. Oh well. Oh well. No, it's not. Um, so yeah. Uh, then Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. What are you? Oh yes. I think I remember what those are. But I might be too... Um, how should I say this? Too weak for this one? I could try but there is no safe spot nearby. And I don't want to do all this over again so I'm not trying right now. As soon as I find a safe spot I might. You're a fine swordsman. Not as far as I'm concerned. I still have a long way to go. What sort of demon are you? A Yaksha. I'm a war demon. A war demon. Makes sense. And what about you? You're awfully peculiar, even for a demon. I'm a Therian. Therian? That's a new one for me. What sort of demon is that? A monster that feeds on foes to gain power. I don't know much beyond that. Hmm. Huh. A woman who devours her enemies. I bet your demon type is... Hag. Am I right? What? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> You've got the death glares down at least. Um... Yeah. Well, probably. What sword style do you use? Who taught you? I'm self-taught. For being self-taught, you're really good. Your fundamentals are solid, too. But then you suddenly throw out these kicks and all these other moves. It's really unusual. Like I said, it's my own style. What about you, huh? What's with those two swords? You say that big one is your life, yet you never even draw it. It's best that I don't. Huh? Is that part of what you learned at House Rangetsu? Yeah, we pay our debts. That's the foundation of everything we do. I don't get it. We will eventually get it. Leave me alone, leave me alone. Sorry. Um, that might happen. To give me the time of day to write my papers and learn for my exams and not take a total break from it like I did last time. I felt really bad doing that so um, I'll try at least <laughs> to provide content. Okay, I had to go here so I'll go back. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, that might might happen and um other than that Do I have anything to talk about? No, not really. Yeah, oh Course, there's something else. When I'm done with my bachelor thesis, I'll have to move back. So there might be a few days where I don't record. Uh, well, back to my parents where I don't record. I might um, live stream, I don't know. But I doubt it. And I'll be looking for. A new apartment, a new house to live in. Because I do not want to live with my parents for a longer period. Uh, the master that I am going to pursue will take another two, maybe three years. And 
I will not live that long with my parents. I already go crazy after a few weeks. It's always hard to be here during breaks that are, well, longer than one or two months. So yeah, um, I'll definitely look for my own living environment and um, that might cost another few days but this is all in the future so you don't have to worry about that yet there is nothing that uh, will happen in the near future well my move move back to my parents will be in a month but uh getting a new apartment might take me the whole summer because i will start my master in the winter if everything goes right so yeah that is that Anything else to talk about? Um, hmm. Well, I told you that <laughs> well, I asked all of you on Twitter what I should play next, and you decided for Resident Evil 7. And I'll start recording right after this. Um, You said you can't taste anything. How is your sense of smell? Why do you ask? Those two senses work together. You know, like how if you pinch your nose while you eat, the flavor goes away? If anything, I think my sense of smell has improved. What about you? All my senses are sharper now. Still, being able to smell but not taste. Hmm. You said you Therians eat demons, right? Not what I'd call a pleasant diet. Look who's talking. What do you eat? I drink, mostly. Huh. <laughs> that doesn't sound pleasant, either. Nonsense. There's nothing with more depth than variety. Every ingredient, every process alters the whole. The rich, complex flavor dancing across the tongue. The mellow aroma exhilarating the nose. Eh, but what would a child know of such things? Whatever. The only downside is, now that I'm a demon, the stuff goes to my head faster than before, too. Now that you're a demon, huh? Yeah. You might want to lay off the booze a bit. No girl. Just just a tiny bit. Mm, let's explore to the left first. already. War points. You will occasionally encounter war points on the map. You can unlock them by touching them, after which you will be able to freely travel to other war points you've unlocked on the same map. Well, this is the first war point, so nothing to walk to. Um, Resident Evil 7, yes. Oh, I ran, ran right into the battle. <clears throat> An exorcist. Did he slip and fall? No, he was thrown in. Battle tutorial. Hitting all of an enemy's weak points during a combo might uh, will activate a weak point combo, greatly increasing your damage with each consecutive hit. Demon dials weak against demi-human fire and earth. 
someone with hard rebuttal to searing edge to tearing thorn combo will activate the weak point combo. Harsh rebuttal, searing edge, and tearing thorn. Um. Harsh rebuttal. Searing edge. Tearing thorn. Here I come. We found our murderer. Your fools from Helipes came hunting me down, didn't you? It seems that way. You're in my way! I'll stop you! Got you! You're in my way! Kill that up! Hey! See this? You're in my way! Kill that up! I have my revenge. Revenge? The bastards at the guild who tried to kill me. They want me to take the fall for their smuggling operation. Wait, are you saying the whole guild was involved? Of course. <laughs> you think a second-rate sailor like me could pull off all that mischief by myself? I mean, sure, I was in on it. Helping them wasn't without its benefits. He has a point. It would take more than one person to dig that tunnel into the warehouse. Problem is, our extra-legal activities were a little too successful. The Abbey was bound to notice us at some point. And dead men tell no tales. So they blame it on you and kill you to cover it up. Looks like it's not going quite how they planned. How do you mean to get this revenge of yours? A raid on Helavis. 
I'll kill the lot of them. This I swear. That would be suicide. Do you have any idea how many exorcists are around? They'll hunt me down no matter what I do. I just want the guild to pay for what they did to me. That's all I wanted. But I guess even that's not gonna work out. We'll take this back to town and tell him you're dead. That should be enough to satisfy the exorcists and get them to call off the search. But why? I have my reasons. We need a boat fixed for starters. Plus, if you stir things up after I leave, I imagine it'll slow down anyone who's following me. If that's what you want, miss, I won't let you down. Well, thank you. Sorry, Rokuro. I didn't mean to kill you. Dinori bottles. All right, that's God Dal's tail. By the way, how on earth did you find out where I was hiding? Luck and a solid hunch. The village I grew up in was the dullest, gloomiest place ever. I hated it so much I became a sailor first chance I could get. But look at me now. If I could do it all again, I wouldn't abandon my home. I see. Alright. And as always, there are two sides to a story. And... Now it's time to end this part. It's already long enough. Again, way too long. <laughs> I still hope you enjoyed it. Of course. Is this really how you want to play it? Listen, I'm being hunted too. It's only a matter of time. I can't afford sympathy. But you showed him some. Well, as I said, I hope you enjoyed it too. And, um,. Now I get to record Resident Evil 7. Bye bye!